Hey, what's up guys? This is Mark from Fishing the 509. Today we're gonna to be showing how we mount the transducer for, uh, this is the Garmin, I think it's 73 SV with the GT35 transducer. <laughs> yeah, I know, a lot of numbers and stuff. And so basically I'm gonna show you guys how I rig this up. It's not gonna be traditional. I'm not necessarily going to be putting holes into the kayak solely due to the reason that I should not be trusted with any sort of power tools. And so um, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna go about setting this dude up. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Also, quick thing. I did get these uh, Yak Attack mounts and they are amazing. They are so cool. Um, I really like the features, how you can do like quick adjusts and whatnot. You know, they're pretty neat, dude. And so, um, pretty stable, pretty rock solid, not going anywhere. Let's, uh, let's, let's dive in and put this transducer on this. So, yeah, it's pretty dusty, man. This quarantine's been, it's been a sad one. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the old transducer. Um, this is going to a Garmin Striker 4 mount. Um, I went through the hole and into this back latch is where I actually had the wires meet. And then I just kind of put them underneath the chair and the batteries sat here. And so I'm thinking of doing something pretty similar uh, with the new fish finder. So let's take a look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go underneath the kayak. Here's the transducer. And I actually had to use some mounting tape. You can see that there. Mounting tape, and I actually mounted it to the bottom of the kayak, not the, um, like the, the mounting plate. And for that reason, it's, I don't know, honestly. When I mounted it here, the transducer was sitting lower than the skid plate. And I didn't want this thing to be scraping up, getting drug all over the floor. So, again, I just used some mounting tape and it's actually worked. It's worked in the water. We're gonna see if we could just take this dude off. Oh, oh, nope. No damage or anything. Honestly, doesn't even, you would never know that it was there. What we're gonna do is this is the, the bracket that it comes with. Um, it's gonna go right on top of transducer. You're gonna bring your transducer bracket through there and it lines up with the screws that are in there. It almost kinda of like, it kinda of snaps in or slots in. My concern right now is, I don't know if this is like too deep. You know what I mean? Like this is like three, four inches right here. Let's take it over to the top water and see. It looks like the transducer is going to be sitting almost way beneath that. Did you see that? There's just significant difference between there. The left is the transducer. The right is the, is the skid plate, actually. I don't think I want $100 skid plate, so we're going to have to figure something out. And also, before we... Uh get to work on cutting stuff. I also did go as far as ordering a different type of Garmin mount and it still would not work. Let's see what we could do, man. Okay, so we have really tried to think this out. So what we're gonna do is we're going to pull off the transducer mounting plate that actually comes pre-installed on, on Old Towns, which is pretty sweet. This kayak has a lot of bells and whistles. Um, it's, it's amazing, honestly. All right, so we are going to take off the mounting plate. Okay, so there's one screw. Oh, so, oh my God, dude, this is like full of spiders, bro. Ew, oh my gosh. Let's uh, dispose of these disgusting creatures outside. Let's cut these dudes off. Oh, dude, I'm expecting to see just a big, hairy dude just come out. There doesn't appear to be uh, spiders in here, but I'm sure they're probably all in my garage now. Gross. Okay, that's kind of more or less what your mounting plate should look like. So the idea is we're gonna flip the mounting bracket, we're gonna saw off the back, and then that way this guy can sit level so when we do decide to mount it here, 
the transducer is going to fit. <sighs> Let's just find out, man. We're gonna cut. You know, I've really thought about it. I don't think cutting this is going to affect the integrity of the fish finder. We're going nowhere near any screw holes. Um, let's just get to cutting. There's kind of already a little line right along the back of here, probably when it was being made. And I'm just going to follow that line and I'm going to cut it. Let's see. Try to make this look as professional as possible. Awesome, looking awesome. Here we go. All right, so we have officially removed the piece from here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this little piece again, I didn't even get anywhere near any of the real screw holes, anything, any of the, I don't think it's gonna compromise any of the integrity of the mount. All right, moment of truth. We got this guy. We got our new transducer bracket. I can just get it. There we go, look at that. Can you see that? Now it is in way better shape. It's pretty much 90, 90 degree angle here. So now we can mount that bracket. We can mount it to the mounting bracket. Get that transducer here. Look at that. That's what it's gonna look like now. Sick. Now this thing should be flush now. And if I did it the hard way or there was something I missed, I should have bought something or I should have just done something different. Like I said, I was just so tired of waiting on an answer. So I really just, uh, just decided to hack it a little bit. We're gonna take these little screws and we're gonna start mounting them into the, into the transducer. Drop in the first guy, boom. All right, there we got it, man. So now we could click this dude around. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Look at that. Sitting flush, 90 degree angle. Now all we gotta do is we're gonna put the mounting bracket on this side and then we'll mount it to the kayak. Whew. There we go, baby, let's go. So glad this worked out, dude. And if I, like, if I did it wrong again, dude, don't chew me out. It worked, it worked. Get a couple of pilot holes drilled in this guy. I'm gonna go about here. All right, pilot holes look pretty good. Now, we're gonna start putting the screws in, so. And there you got it, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. It is finally flush. It is it is gorgeous, honestly. You cannot tell that I did any any work on that bottom side, dude. Look at that. That is amazing. Close up, here it is. Now we can just, all we're gonna do now, which is the amazing part, where those spiders were when we pulled off that uh, mounting plate, we're literally just gonna go, put these two screws back in, and then we got our transducer mounted Heck yeah, dude, let's go! Um, all I'm gonna do is put two screws into here and you guys can see it. Woo, and just like that, pretty dang flush with the rest of the kayak. So I think we're in a safe zone here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the other end of the transducer cord and just start pushing it through and we'll grab it on the other side. Okay. So we got all the, the cord through, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in through the hole. If you look down through there, there's like little chambers that go through the back, go through here, and they end up at this. And that's gonna be basically a key to not having to drill any holes in the kayak. Cause again, uh, you shouldn't trust me in drilling holes into something that's supposed to float. So, let's do that. Should be able to reach down into the hole. And boom, baby. We'll leave this here. I like these one hand tie bands. Underneath here, we got that transducer sitting beautifully. Look at that, man, it's gorgeous. What I would do first is I would, maybe I'd run it through the bottom of the handle, you know? So there's the power cable. Again, I know there's fancier ways to do this. 
I'm not that fancy. You're gonna just take your cord and just kind of wrap it around your power cord. And what this is gonna do is just gonna keep those, those wires bundled kind of tight. It's just gonna keep them in one place. Then we'll go like this. Plug this guy in. Kind of just makes them, kind of just makes it like a singular cord. You see that? You kind of can barely see that there's two cords there. And then what I would do personally, this I like this nice little groove. You can see that. This battery's not gonna go anywhere. I did have some Velcro on it, but I took it off. Um, I don't even I don't even strap them down to be honest. I just have the battery hang there, kind of hide the wires, um, and then I'm just gonna connect them. And that's pretty much all there is to it, man. Let me get you guys a better angle. So we got our cords here. Got our cord right there. It's kind of out of the way, you know. You could obviously it needs to just move around a little bit. You just gotta figure out what works for you. Transducer cord. It gets held nicely by this back hatch, locking it, pretty good. But everything looks good, man. Everything looks solid in here. Nothing seems like it's gonna go anywhere. I love these Yak Attack mounts. They are solid, they are solid. Okay, so let's take a look. This guy, heck yeah, dude, look at that. That is gorgeous. This whole, just this whole setup is gorgeous. Can't get enough of it, I cannot get enough of it. I'm so bummed out about this whole quarantine. Jeez, man. And I know guys, sorry, this video isn't exciting. I usually post, I never post videos like this, but the fact that I can't upload anything, it kills me. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's probably one of my first review style how-to videos. Um, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Um, leave me some comments. Say what's up. It's been so boring um, practicing social distancing. And of course, all the lakes are closed. So I do have some more videos. Like I said, let me know if you guys, uh, you guys like this. But thank you guys for watching. I got to head out. Peace out.